Hello and welcome to this Bournemouth University Applications and Interviews podcast. My name is Stuart Hall and I'm a lecturer here at Bournemouth University for the paramedic science team. So the podcast that we put together for you is hopefully going to help support any prospective students out there thinking of applying to Bournemouth University to study healthcare professions, in particular looking at those for paramedic students. This podcast will hopefully provide you with some useful insight into writing your application and take a particular focus on writing personal statements. It's going to look at the things that are important to include if you really are hoping to apply and to become a paramedic student. We'll also take a look at some useful hints and tips for those candidates that are lucky enough to be shortlisted to attend a Bournemouth University interview day. When compiling your UCAS application and writing your personal statement, you need to think of it as an opportunity to stand out from the rest of the crowd. It's an opportunity to sell yourself to whichever courses or universities that interest you the most. Hopefully one of those will be studying here at Bournemouth University on paramedic science. You want to be able to sell yourself to your favourite universities as much as you want the universities to be interested in yourself. Both parties are always looking for the most attractive prospects. This is emphasised by the fact that the paramedic science course here at Bournemouth University had over 600 applicants for the 2019-2020 intake. The course itself is around about 35 to 40 places each year. So it's really important that you stand out from the other candidates and sell yourself and your credentials if you really are interested in joining the course. And a good application and a strong personal statement can go a long way to achieving this goal. In this crowded market, you need to get across clearly and succinctly why you would make an excellent candidate to be a passionate, motivated and caring paramedic student. The personal statement is your opportunity to really set yourself apart from the other applicants and sell your skills, values and experiences that will make you an excellent candidate to become a paramedic student here at the Bournemouth University. So here are some useful pointers that we've put together that should hopefully help you when compiling your application and putting together your personal statements. Number one, why do you want to be a paramedic? This is the main reason for your application to this course. So don't forget to try and tell us exactly what it is and why it is you specifically want to be a paramedic and what have you gone about doing to achieve this goal. We really need to know these facts, but often it gets overlooked in personal statements. Number two, what healthcare experience do you have? Please mention any relevant healthcare experience that you might have had that would be relevant to becoming a paramedic student. For example, job roles in healthcare, ambulance trusts, care assistants, volunteer work, organisations such as St John's or Red Cross, any arranged visits to ambulance stations or healthcare providers, and again, any ride-alongs that you might have been able to achieve. We need to know about as much healthcare experience as you have that would again make you a relevant candidate to be a good paramedic student. Three, what life experiences do you have? So for example, if you've got children, you've been in employment or part-time work, education, hobbies, you have responsibilities, military service, lifeguard, coast guard, scouts, guides, Duke of Edinburgh, any teams or societies. These are really important factors of life experiences that can help contribute to being a good paramedic. And it's particularly important if you have limited exposure to healthcare or ambulance service experience. This could be due to age restrictions or other commitments like being in full time education. So please don't forget that life experiences are really important and make sure that you put them into your personal statements. Number four, what responsibilities do you have that are relatable to becoming a paramedic and working in the NHS or healthcare? So if you're a carer for somebody, or you have responsibilities for young children, or holding down jobs while studying, having a job role which comes with extra responsibilities, then don't forget to mention these. Again, these are all very relevant and important subjects to discuss in your personal statement to demonstrate that you're used to having responsibilities. Number five, 
What qualities do you possess that will make you a good paramedic? What we want to hear here is what qualities or values you think you have that would make you an excellent paramedic candidate. We're not after a long list of things that paramedics do. We already know these because we're paramedics ourselves. What we want are your qualities, an example of these qualities that you have that would be suited for our profession. Number six, don't just produce a list of words without being able to quantify them in your personal statement. Words like caring, compassionate, and all of the other NHS six C's, as well as things like being motivated or a team player, etc. Rather than just list these qualities, put some context around them and give us some examples where you have demonstrated these qualities in your life. These are the important things that we want to be able to see in your personal statements because just listing words isn't good enough. The NHS six C's. Research and learn about them. They can be easily found on the internet and under any NHS employer. As a recruiter, we hold their values highly and we would like to see if you can demonstrate them in your personal statements and in your interviews. This is especially relevant if you've not had a lot of healthcare exposure. To be able to demonstrate some of the six C's and their core values by giving examples of where they have been achieved somewhere in your life, in your personal statement. Number eight, research the profession that you're attempting to join. TV series about ambulance services are great advertisements for our profession, but they do not serve as good research into a modern paramedic. Actively researching the profession that you want to join and where it is heading in the future will demonstrate to us that you are keen and passionate about becoming a paramedic rather than just reciting some things that you've watched on television. Number nine, be true to yourself and be an individual. In a world that offers you unlimited formats or Google searches for standardised UCAS personal statements, do yourself a favour and try not to forget to tell us who you really are. We are looking for interesting individuals to teach and be part of our course. You would be surprised how often we read the same standardised personal accounts. To truly stand out from the crowd, be an individual and express in that statement and in your interviews who you are. A little flavour and something interesting about yourself will go a long way and give you something else to talk about if you get through to the interview stage. So if you are successful and get through the application stage, you're gonna be asked to come into Bournemouth University to attend a selection day that will include a face-to-face -face interview for paramedic science. Here now are some useful tips and bits of advice to help you prepare for that face-to-face -face interview. Number one, read the invite closely. If you are invited to the selection day and face-to-face -face interviews at Bournemouth University for Paramedic Science, please read the invite closely. There may be some things on there that you need to prepare for or bring along to your interview day. Number two, research the university course and town. If you want to come and study at the University of Bournemouth and you want to move to this town, it might be really useful to do some research about the area before attending the university interview day. A little bit of research can go a long way, but ultimately it's gonna help you make the right decision when it comes to choosing the university and courses you wish to study on. After all, you're going to be there for three years and you're gonna spend a lot of money, so please make the right decision by doing a little bit of research. Number three, take advantage of all opportunities. If you've been able to attend an open day prior to your interview, make sure you mention it. Again, if you have had the ability to be able to speak to lecturers or paramedics or current students about this course and the profession, then take full advantage of those opportunities. To be forewarned is to be forearmed, especially about an exciting and challenging career as being a paramedic student. It also shows to us at our interviews that you're interested in becoming a paramedic and have set yourself aside from some of the other applicants. Number four, do your research. As mentioned in your personal statements, it pays to do your due diligence and make sure you get your research done and find out about the profession as much as you can. 
to not just rely on TV or hearsay, but go out and do some research for yourselves about the profession and the developing role of the paramedic. If you state that you are a highly motivated individual who's passionate about the profession, but have not done any research, this will unfortunately be found out in your interview when we follow up with some questions. Number five, prepare your answers. Most interviews will cover the same key questions and there is nothing wrong with practicing and preparing your answers prior to it turning up to your interview. If you do not like interviews and many people do not, then do yourself a favor and practice some of your key answers and make sure that you make some notes that will help you to get across what you want us to know about you prior to your interview. Number six, go the extra mile. Remember, we will interview a lot of other candidates. So if you want to be on the course and you want to be a paramedic student, do not be afraid to stand out and sell your best skills and values in your interview. Shy candidates do not often get through the initial stages to become a paramedic student. Be comfortable being able to talk about yourself because nobody should be in a better position to sell your attributes than you are yourself. You must, must, must put yourself out there to be selected. Number seven, show some passion and individuality. Again, just like preparing your personal statement, do not be afraid to be yourself and show us some of your personality and uniqueness. Stand out by making sure you are yourself. So that brings us to the end of our podcast. So on behalf of Bournemouth University and the paramedic science team, we wish you good luck with the process of applying and look forward to hearing from you. If you do have any questions in the meantime about applying to Bournemouth University or paramedic science course, then please contact the university by the link shown here. Thank you for listening and good luck.